And do you, you're specifically targeting Scientology? Or the Church of Scientology. Well? No, it's, it's nothing else at the moment. Uh, right. The reason it got uh, Anonymous' attention was because of two years ago they tried to suppress free speech on the internet. Um, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Tom Cruise video. I haven't, no. Uh, I, I just, I must admit, I am completely, well, pretty, I mean, I kind of, what did I know about Scientology before? Enough well, to like, stay away from it? Well, well, yeah, but I mean, I'd stay away from any organised religion. Yeah, I mean, okay, fair I knew, enough. I knew enough of it, um... That it best be to, to, Well, to be a bit cynical about it, but without okay. really knowing anything... Anything further. Okay, it. sure. Um... But yeah, no, it's good work. It's yeah. good, to be, good to be better informed, yeah. always. All right. But I'm a bit lazy when it comes to looking for the information myself. No, okay. I'll go through phases, but then, you know. No, so no, yeah, I, no, I can understand good. that. And I, I hope that more people will stop it. Yeah. And no, we've we, we raised well. a lot of awareness since good. we started this, so uh, good stuff. there you go. I'll add you to the list. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. If you have ever walked down this street and been offered a free personality or stress test, I can assure you the results are rigged so that you will have problems, after which you will be asked, very nicely, to buy some sort of Scientology-related book. If you're interested in reading the scientific thoughts of a science fiction writer with no evidence to back them up, why not buy a copy of Dianetics today? They are not ethical in any means, shape or form. They are quite the opposite. But when you're inside a mind-controlled cult, one of the sad side effects is that you will just see things from their angle. So the opinions of what you have as right and wrong today may not be that you have of tomorrow. But of course, you guys can't see it, can you? You're in your new and somehow better reality. This reality that you think you're a part of but we're not, I can assure you, is, um, is nothing beneficial. It's the illusion that the Church of Scientology has brainwashed you into believing. But it's not too late, guys. It's never too late to admit that you are wrong. You could practice Scientology outside of the Church. You could go with the free zoners. They don't charge their members extortionate amounts of money. They don't have prison camps for their members either. You don't have to give up your livelihood to do something that you believe in. So why are you doing it? Does it not bother you of all the, uh, all the crimes that are going on, all the people who are blowing, talking about the abuse, talking about David Miscavige beating people up? Do these things not concern you in the slightest? Because they should. If you are genuinely the most ethical people on the planet, these are the sort of things that should concern you very much. But you're not even allowed to Google Scientology because the church knows that you very quickly come across a lot of the abuse and crimes that it commits. And then they're worried that as with a lot of your ex-members, you will too leave. Hi guys, just protesting against the cult of Scientology. Against that? Uh, the Church of Scientology. Oh, I'm, not, I'm cool. Yeah? You're, you're complaining against it? Against it, yeah. Against the abuses. Okay. Uh, like the mask. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you're not aware of who we are or what the Church is I about? Know, I know what Scientology is all about. Yeah. I mean, enough to just... stay away from it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, well, or enough to never, like, go into it. Okay, but cool. I'm just, I'm just wondering what sparked your passion to campaign um, Well, basically, it's just, uh, it was just after a long research campaign. Um, and it was, you know, it, it was like use of knowing enough to avoid it, but then suddenly discovering all of the abuse that was going inside, um, you know, the families and friends that had been disconnected, people who had been left mentally and financially ruined, the suicides, the deaths, um, and it basically got to the stage where this is on my doorstep, uh, and I decided to, wow. uh, to do something about it. Yeah, yeah I saw that. So that's, that's basically it, mate. But there is a lot wrong with it. It's not the belief system, it's the, uh, it's the crimes and abuses the church engages in. Yeah, no, cool. I mean, I know that they always rob money from the richer people, so yeah. that's what I'm trying to Exactly. Know I mean? Just a money-making scam, cool. mate. All right, take care, yeah. Meaning, the Church of Scientology is going to have to redo their orientation film. Because you can't have someone in one of your films who's now a suppressive person and an ex-member. No, 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 no. This person has gone from being the face of Scientology to another liar, another evildoer. It's strange how everyone who leaves the church and talks about the abuses, all of which seem to collaborate, they're automatically labelled as liars. Is that the best you can come up with, that they're just not telling the truth? 
the truth that stands back decades and seems to go hand in hand with other people's stories. It doesn't make sense, guys. What the church tells you is a lie. Larry Anderson was correct. Your management is corrupt. Re-releasing the books over and over again and making people buy them is just another way to generate money. Come on, can't you see that for yourselves? When are you guys going to come into prison time? Would you like to come and have a chat with me, sir? No? Where did Ken cycle, buddy? Glad your communication text and full of force. Can we even have a bit of confront, chat and suppress, or is that too much to ask for? Guys, there's a lot of fresh meat. Raw meat, sorry, walking past your building. What are you doing? You're not body routing it. Scientology, uh, man. Hey man, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. Doing well? Yeah, not too bad. Um, trying to uh, trying to go for all eight days straight of protesting. Yeah. Uh, at this building. So this is this is day three. Uh, I guess you're aware of what? Yeah. yeah. yeah you, you struck me as the sort of character he might be. <laughs> Oh, good stuff, mate. That's cool, man. So you're here for another five days? Uh, well, I, it won't necessarily be me all the time, but yeah, we should. We had our main protest on Saturday just gone. Oh, a couple yeah. of guys round tomorrow and um, myself today, so yeah, hopefully there'll be um, cool, sort of consistent flow at some stage or other. Sweet, we'll see. Well, anyway. Keep it going, buddy. Yeah, will do. Back Thank you very much. Respect. Cheers, dude. You made in 2009. How many people have you made clear this week? Let me tell you something, and please do listen. There is no such thing as a clear. There is no such thing as OT8. No one who is OT can exhibit any supernatural powers. They cannot control matter, energy, space, and time. The promises the Church of Scientology tells you about the courses that you are doing are lies. That is why when people get to the top, when there is no further up the bridge to go, they realise that they've wasted a lot of time and a lot of money. And most of them are so outraged that they suddenly wake up to the real world and they leave. When are you guys going to wake up and realise that there's something wrong with the Church of Scientology? It's never too late to admit that you're wrong, guys. Hey buddy, how you doing? Are you alright? Can you tell me if you're okay? Fine. I'm leaving now. Does that make things a little better? Wow, you certainly seem free and able. Have fun.